What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my weekly DIY Ayurveda deep conditioning hair mask that I use every wash day to promote healthy hair growth. So let's get into it. Now the herbs that I'm using in today's deep conditioning hair mask are neem powder, henna powder, shikakai powder, retha powder, amla powder, and my favorite Ayurvedic herbal powder, which is Bringraj powder. Now to encourage even faster hair growth, I am mixing my herbal powders together with the Yerba Mate green tea, which is a South American green tea known for its high caffeine content. And also at this point, you can add in any of your favorite essential oils if you wish to. Now today, I am trying out this garlic essential oil for the very first time. And guys, I am not lying to you. This is extremely potent. But garlic oil or garlic in general is known for its um, rich sulfur content. And also, as we know, sulfur also lengthens the anagen phase of the hair growth cycle. Now, caffeine is known to lengthen the anagen phase of the hair growth cycle and accelerate hair growth as it combats DHT by causing hair cells to produce more adenosine triphosphate, which is a form of energy that fuels other cellular processes in the body that encourages hair growth. With that, I'm mixing one cup of the green tea to seven tablespoons of Ayurvedic herbal powders to get to my desired consistency. Now, you can use as much or as little as you desire. And to be honest, this was still a little bit too thick, so I went ahead and added some more water. Now, if you're interested in using the green tea that I used in my hair mask today, I will definitely go ahead and link that in the description bar below. Okay, so once I'm done mixing my hair mask, I move on to detangling my hair in preparation for applying my deep conditioning treatment. Now the herbs I use from week to week vary, but the main herbs which are always in my DIY hair growth masks are henna, amla and bringraj. Now, the reason I love using these three herbs are because henna is a great herb for conditioning the hair and balancing the scalp's pH, whilst the phytonutrients in amla helps to stimulate blood circulation in the scalp and helps with producing collagen protein as it is packed with antioxidant nutrients like vitamin C. And Bringraj is known for its capability of revitalizing the hair follicles, facilitating hair growth and strengthening the hair strands. And as you know, the hair follicles are extremely vital in the formation of healthy hair strands and hair growth. However, the other herbal powders which are used in my hair growth mask also helps to benefit hair growth as neem is packed with antibacterial, antifungal and anti-inflammatory properties which is great for combating scalp conditions such as dandruff and also strengthening the hair follicles. While shikai kai is great for cleansing the hair and is packed with micronutrients that nourishes the scalp and boosts hair growth. And although Retha is a great herbal cleanser that leaves the hair feeling moisturized, soft and shiny, it is also antimicrobial in nature which makes it good for healing bacterial scalp infections. Okay, so once I'm done applying the herbs to my hair, I secure my hair strands into smaller bantu knot sections for about an hour and sometimes I do apply heat to my hair as well. But in today's video, I didn't necessarily um, apply the heat. I skipped that part today. But nonetheless, once I'm done doing that, I then proceed to rinsing my hair and following up with my usual wash day routine. Now, if you're interested in purchasing any of these powders mentioned in this video, I will be sure to leave some links in the description bar below. So before washing my hair on every wash day, I always perform a deep conditioning treatment using a mix of Ayurvedic herbs, which is not only great for conditioning and nourishing my hair strands, but also my scalp and hair follicles. 
Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys found today's video very helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week, Sunday at 5 p.m., we will be right back here with another video.